Hey guys, it's Ingrid with Care Tutti and I am back after a long hiatus from swapping to share with you a project that I made for Jen and I will post all her information down below. Go check her out because she's an amazing crafter if you don't know her. So um, we actually are doing a um, private swap and uh, we were gonna do a loaded envelope and that was kind of the extent of it. There was no other parameters. So I decided to jump on the um, embellishment box bandwagon and I made her this little embellishment box. And um, for those of you that don't know, you can find these at Dollar Tree. And then also in a pack of three, I got these headbands um, and then all I did is I think this is a Prima flower it came in a pack of like five or six and um, I just attached it with a safety pin that way Jen can use this any other way if she wants so let's open our box so I think it came out so cute all right so we'll start with here this side and then I'll show you real quick let's see I used pink crinkle paper and I think I got this at um, Target and then the Dollar Tree white and then I got some of this like um, iridescent or holographic and I got that at Walmart and it comes like straw like long pieces and I just cut it up and stuck it in there and I thought that's really cute the look that it gave and so I made her these little tags and I just um, layered some cardstock that was cut out in a scallop some crepe paper a circle and then a, um, a heart with glitter paper and just made her three of those and then I also just punched out some uh, flowers so and she can use these like this or um, there's tutorials online how to take these and make them into flowers so stuck that back I made her a little um, what is this stuff called seam binding bow and I add these like to all my projects as you guys know and then the top corner, all this stuff to fall out. I made her a little tiny banner with a J. Cute. And I added some stickles and some glitter, a little pearl, and then I just layered um, some scrapbook paper that coordinated. And then I used as the the edge this like I think it's um oh, what do you call it for knitting yarn <laughs> I don't knit so can you tell so we'll stick these back and it's been a while since I've done a non voiceover so I'm like oh, I don't know what to say um, I gifted her these little washies that I thought were cute. And I think this one's from um, Michael's and these are from maybe Dollar Tree or a combination of both. Here's a little sequins container. How cute is that? And then this, you guys have seen, these are in the nail section at um, Dollar Tree. Let's see if I can focus, there we go. Um, and I think it's for nail art, but I thought that was cute and it kind of matched the color. And then if you guys don't know about this yet, you need to head over to, it's AC Digitals, American Craft Digitals. And I don't remember if the website's AC Digitals or American Craft Digitals, but um, you can purchase the digital files of a lot of their paper packs and ephemera. And so this is the new um, Maggie Holmes Flourish line. And so I just made some cutouts for her. And I did not fussy cut them. I figured out how to cut them using my silhouette. And it was really easy actually. And then here on this side, I just, there's some little, uh, it's gonna be hard for me to, but let's move that. 
There's some like little flowers and then some little beads and stuff that she can use. And then I gifted her some of that um, yarn that I had used. This one's in pink, that one's white. And then some other eyelash trim. I thought those were really cute. And then lastly, I made her a little altered clip. And then I bought these bottles to do sequins mix, sequin mixes um, at um, Tuesday morning. But none of the sequins will fit in here. It, it, they'll go in, but they will never come out. So what I did is I just um, filled it with some of that yarn and then she can use it. And actually, I think I'm going to leave it like that so that she knows that she can pull it out. So there's my little embellishment box. Let's see. Next, and I tried to film a um, tutorial for you guys on, or a like a scrap with me kind of thing um, for this, but it, my camera was not cooperating. So, but I um, found this book, and it's a um, like a blank page journal at Dollar Tree. And so all I did was I altered the front of it. So I started by adding gesso and then adding some paint to it. And then I have, um, I have some crepe on the side and you can see I just um, added glitter on the end of it. And then I added her name. Here's a little um, spoon also from Dollar Tree. And then, do you guys remember this stuff? This is some more of the goodies that I got from the NSK shop. Don't forget to go check them out. I used actually quite a few things from her shop here. But I think that's really cute and it says her name on here. So I hope that she likes that and she can use this as a journal. And you guys can kind of tell I haven't crafted in a while. So I kind of, um, you know, went nuts. <laughs> and here is my loaded envelope. And hopefully you can see, let's see. Okay. I have a new camera set up, it's temporary. I'm not home right now, so hopefully um, you guys can catch everything. Okay, so we will start tearing this apart. So. The base for the loaded envelope is a heart, and um, I don't remember where I found the tutorial, but I just um, went on YouTube and I looked up um, heart loaded envelope tutorial, and I, I found one. If I can remember, or if I can locate it, I will attach it down below. So um, then what I did is I took my paper, and then using a bunch of different, uh, I painted it, I used, um, here you can kind of see here, I don't know if you can, if it's picking up on the camera, but um, I used like um, modeling, no, what is that stuff called? Um, oh, I can't think of it, but it's a medium and it adds texture. Texture paint, is that what it's called? I don't know. Anyways, and then here, the gold pieces, it's actually a um, placemat that I got at Walmart and it's like kind of rubber and then I just cut it so that it's laying on the bottom and then I layered a bunch of flowers and then some beads and I'll try to go slow. I know that when uh, people do projects like this I like to take my time and look at it. So, okay, so we'll go ahead and start deconstructing it. So the first thing that I did is um, using a popsicle stick and then that eyelash trim, I um, cut out a bow in my silhouette and, and I also painted and distressed the stick. I thought that's really cute. I don't know why I hadn't thought of that before. And then the center is um, a crepe paper rosette and a little bling. I thought it came out cute, and I actually layered two bows on top of each other. Um, my first tag, 
And this is one of those um, Tim Holtz girls, and then this is a printable um, for the butterfly um, wings. And it says, follow your heart, and it's got some crepe paper. And throughout the whole thing, you can see that I added the pink paint to everything. So I think it looks really shabby. And I know Jen likes shabby, so that's why I did it. And then I gifted her some of these um, Tim Holtz people. And here it just says explore, and this was a cutout, and again, I just distressed it, and I just made another um, crepe paper flower, and I stapled it. And then I got these glassine bags from Amazon, and they're great. I think they're like for cookies or something, but they're, I love them. Um, this came out super cute. It's a little box I made using my silhouette. And I just, again, using one of those um, cut aparts, it says Airway, Dream, and then I just um, added some more of that trim here. You can see some, some beads. This is a straw that I cut and I hand wrote Dream and distressed it and added a, um, a clip out, clip art flower. And I forgot what's in here. Oh yeah, I gifted her some of the beads that I used throughout the album. Isn't that adorable? I thought that came out really cute. And here, I actually made two of these little, um, they're like library card holders. And again, that was in the Silhouette store. And you can see the paint. I did paint all around. And in here are some die cuts, and they're the they're actually this bow except smaller. And then in this one, oh, and then that one says um, "Embrace Beautiful Chaos." <laughs> um, this one, remember to play. And then I just um, some crepe paper, some scrapbooking paper. A um, I think this is a Maggie Holmes. Actually, I'm not sure if it's Maggie Holmes, but it was an image that I found of a bow. And um, inside here is some cut aparts. And I think this might be from another Maggie Holmes collection and that I did. And then also uh, the paper pad that goes with, um, with, this, with this stuff. Some of those, there was cut aparts, so I cut those and I thought those were cute kind of following that theme. It's kind of a travel theme. And then here is another one of my wands and I loved this one. And actually Michelle Randolph, um, I got the inspiration from one, she had done one maybe a year or two years ago and it was so beautiful. It was for, um, I wanna say it was a Carmen sewing loaded envelope. And um, so hopefully I did hers justice, but here's, you can, let's see if I can focus. It doesn't want to focus on me. Let's see. There we go. And I added some stickles, some paint, and I some splatters, and I think it came out really adorable and real whimsical. Um, next is another one of those bows that I cut out, and I have the um, trim in the middle, a crepe paper rosette in the background, some cheesecloth and a silver doily. And then on the back, I finished it off with another one of those bows. And I think that one came out cute. And again, these are all the popsicle sticks that I distressed and painted. And then, I'll go ahead and take these. I did two of these. And these are, I think, Heidi Swap. They're acetate. And I just put these I never know what they're called, stamen or stamen. They're the centers for the flowers. And again, it's distressed. I think those are cute. I also found um, one of these gem pens at Dollar Tree, which I couldn't believe. I've never seen them before. And so I um, wanted to give her one of those and I thought it kind of blended in. And then this is probably my favorite rosette. Um, we lived in California and both of my kids were actually born in California and so this is kind of a, an, uh, a paying a tribute to the California bear. And um, again, some more little ephemera here that's vintage -y. and then I just layered 
a doily crepe paper and then this um, rosette that I cut out on my silhouette, a paper flower, and then like you can see, I used the paint and stuff and distressed it all. So, and now we'll go to the back. And in the back, it's kind of funny because I put one of those glassine envelopes back here and I folded it and then I realized nothing, my other stuff, it didn't fit. So I had to do another envelope to fit inside that envelope. But you can see here in the background, I have a, a vintage postcard from that paper line, some, um, a doily, some other paper, and you can see how I distress the whole thing with, with uh, the paint, the pink paint. And I couldn't find a perfect pink that was shabby, so I actually ended up mixing. Let's see, I have them here. And I just use regular. This one is Craft Essentials, just white. And this is the Apple Barrel Pink Parfait. And I mixed probably a ratio of, I don't know, like seven to one maybe, something like that. Uh, white to one pink, because I wanted that light pink, pink effect. So on here is that glassine bag, and then I just took some lace and I distressed it again with the paint. And here's some more of that yarn. And I don't know, okay, we're gonna open this. And I just made her, I won't open them all, but they're all very similar, these little note cards. And so this is the envelope, and then I just um, scripted her name. This is the card. So she can use that to say thank you or just to write a little note. And I did three of these. And you can see again here I used the paint and the trim and the beads. So um, I felt like in this project I really kept the cohesiveness together and I'll put this together in a minute um, and then I'll let you look again at the front and so here you can see the shape of it that it's a heart and again I distressed it with the ink or with the paint and it's actually two different papers and so you can see where my seam is I just um, scrunched up, <laughs> that's a technical term by the way, I scrunched up some crepe paper and then I um, used my paint to just distress the edges. And then here's my florals again, so you can see it. I'm really happy with the way this one turned out. And I apologize if you can hear, my son is playing a video game um, in the room next to me and he's loud. Um, and then, I know I'm not done, but um, Jen and I have swapped before. Um, she, Michelle, and I did a, if you guys recall, a um, traveling, actually I don't even know if I ever posted the video. I might still have it and not posted it, but we did a traveling um, tag swap and it was, her work was just gorgeous. So um, I wanted to make sure I sent her something special, so I found this little guy, it's a um, keychain at Dollar Tree, and then this little bag. And inside, I just added some goodies. And I'm not gonna take everything apart, but I'll kind of show you a little bit. Oops. And so, I'm not gonna take these all out because they're just some goodies for her. So. Um, but I wanted to share that with you. And then I have a funny story. I was at Michael's and um, this lady in front, there was a box and it said grab bag for $4. And so the lady in front of me asked the cashier if there were goodie bags inside of it. And she told her, no, it's the whole box for $4. And um, she said, you know, usually they don't know what's in the boxes, but in this case, they had seen what was in it and it was all paper, mostly paper. And so the whole time I'm, you know, have my fingers crossed, like, I hope she doesn't grab it. I hope she doesn't want it. But she's like, you know what? I'm going to buy it. So anyways, I go and check out the whole time. I'm like, oh, I wish I would have gotten that box. 
but I had heard I was getting some other good stuff, so it was okay. But anyway, so she has she's checking out at the exact same time where you're finishing at the same time. So um, as much as you guys know that I talk on here in real life, I do the same thing. And so I went up to her and I said, I am just dying to see what you got in that box. I said, um, she's like, well, if you want to look, I'll open it right now. And so I was like, yeah, which is, that's not really like me. Um, and anyway, she ended up gifting me some of these um, paper pads. They're craft paper and they've got like, like these fancy edges. Um, and I, I felt bad because I didn't want her to give me stuff. I just, you know, was excited that she would got that $4 box. And guys, I'm telling you, it was like packed full of paper. Like it was heavy to pick up. So, um, but I think that that's really awesome. So if you guys ever see those boxes, um, jump on them, like get them if you can. So um, hers was really good. So anyways, I thought that was funny. And so I'm going to spread the love and give Jen one. So that is it. I hope that you guys enjoyed the swap. I was really happy to get back to it. So um, I will post the video of Jen's swap to me so that you guys can see it once I get it. And this will go out once she receives hers. Thank you guys again for watching, for taking time out of your day and uh, for sharing love. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I will see you soon. Bye.